Welcome to the catacombs, not your underground cemetery as you might expect. No, back in its heyday, it was one of these spots to be on Western's campus. Today, it's become a place for the regulars, complete with ping pong table and living room setting. Recently, it served as a game room, an area for group discussion, and perhaps most appropriately to its name, a haunted house. But back then, it was something quite a bit different, right, so. as some may have called it. All right, so guys, your part goes like this. It was far out of this world. And I'm free falling, and I'm free falling, and I'm free falling, and I'm free falling. Very good. You're just going to keep doing All right, ladies, your part's in. Here it comes. It's a bit harder, but you heard before I sang it before you. Say what you need to say. 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 And I'm free. That used to be a pretty wild place in the 70s. Lots of things going on there. Lots of students in there with various. It was like open mic nights, pretty much. What always impressed me was the amount of talent that was in here. I guess you would have called them the hippies because <laughs> that's that's what it tended to attract. People would come with their guitars or sometimes people had other instruments and you could get together. Obviously it's not a huge room so it was a very intimate setting and you just sit at these tables and you, the stage is still here and, and you listen to these performers. And what an amazing theater to try something out, you know, in front of a, an audience of anywhere for sometimes it would be 20, sometimes it would be 50 or 60. Those 50 or 60 people got the cafe pretty packed, but it made for some very spirited and memorable moments. 